Hey guys, today we are going to be playing Flash and Daggers Grave Robber. And we have finished it on the Hound Master. It's interesting. Champ, My opponent is not Stormy today. I have never played with this person before. Wait, no, maybe I have once. I'm not exactly sure. Okay. Interesting stun. Unbalanced. Because I only thing I was really gonna I guess I could have stunned their grave robber or you know, that that's a fine move I guess. Uh I can like do this to get the debuff resist and stress reduced. Right? Though he is built for the knife. He is built for knife. So this is kind of a meme team from my opponent here. So I really don't want to lose against it. It's somewhat of a meme Because he doesn't even have blinding gas. Blinding yes. No blinding yes. Grievous oh flat crit damn. Fear. That that crit's gonna hurt. What's he planning on doing? Is he gonna try to bleed my... He's gonna try to blight. So this is just a useless trinket so far. Seventy-five hit shots. Well, at least it hits. It hits. It hits. It hits. It hits. It hits. I I will stun this grave robber. What's gonna be the hit chance in that? Forty-nine dodge. The buffoon is flummoxed. With 120 shies. That's not, I'm gonna command them. I'm gonna try to stick that grave robber. A virtue of courageous. <laughs> Can I get some courageous up in here? Ah, irrational. Reeling. Gasping, taken over the edge into madness. madness. What what is West still running? Probably the book, the fiery book. Still doesn't have the best hit chance. Oh, okay, I'm gonna do this first because I don't want West to try and stun him. Now stunning into this is playing the odds pretty heavily, and I do have the stun resist. I'm not. Jeez, you hit both of them? Wow. Wowzers. What he has done is right, he has removed Grave Robber from my flashing daggers spam. But I can still just panic darts into Grave Robber. I'm fine doing that. Because I don't. Okay, Divine Comfort Sedated. probably does pull her out of that. If I lunge, if I lunge, I definitely do enough damage, right? I do, I do. Panic darts don't do enough damage unless it crits. Act now. I lunge, then he has two heals. I lunge, uh, and this isn't enough to bring one down. Yeah, so I can't lunge here. Crit? No crit. No crit. No crit. No crit. <sighs> Fucking hell. Not even. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. No max roll even. Uh, 3 damage. What's. The reveling the... throne demands its Ah, portion. shit. Didn't realize he was dropping. My, my bad. Bye. Oh, he's alive. Holy shit. That's rare. Do you do three damage? Yes, you do. And now the true test. Hold fast or expire. So if, if he doesn't heal, I'll just hound mass. I'm gonna get a death blow off regardless with the finisher character. Because I'm gonna lunge into patient. a death blow. It will wait. I feel lunging is the way to go. How much damage you lost? Yeah. 
a hand's breadth from becoming unwound. I can still. I am not really disrupted because I can still throw daggers, and he doesn't have. I guess now he can stun. He can't stun Grave Robbery because I have the guard. Continually Hell yeah. onslaught. Okay, but Destroy now he does get one attempt on my crusader as well. But he doesn't have a finisher, so I think we we should we have out out death blowed him currently. And yeah, okay, um, that's fine. He's gonna have to spend another action. That's all I can ask for, really. That he has to spend another action to kill my crusader. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. I mean, he should just kill my crusader, and then start. He can't. I. I don't think he can win this at this point, really. Unless I do something like insanely stupid, which hopefully I won't. Nineteen. That guy can go down even without a crit, and this one is ah. Low rolls. Low rolls. Fucking hell. Low rolls. More blood soaks the soil. Feeding the evil there. Uh, right on. If I harry, I can get this guy to drop. Though, I, if I, I might have to lick wounds in it. Ah, dodge gee, dodge one thing in your fucking miserable life, dodge once. Ah, shit. Who do I do? What do I do? What do? What do? If I bring them both down, he's just gonna wester it up in there, but... Do I have anything better to do than just hit this? A power nah, blow. I'll just hit it. Whatever. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. I think it, I mean now they're gonna have to spend at least one action on healing, the stunning action on healing. That's good. And here should I command? Yeah, I'm running more out of command. To be fair, I'm not gonna need the damage from the command anytime soon. The reveling throng demands. But it's not like I can guard the doggy either. Because Soros is gonna hit both anyway. Oh, he's not dropping. Fuck. A it's a dodge one thing! One brain. thing! I mean, okay, to be fair, 27 dodge isn't a lot, a lot, but like. Come on, man. I just wanted to dodge one thing. More and now dust. my grave robber needs More to shadow face. More disappointment. Oh, yeah, she's fucked. Uh, you're gonna grace? Cool. Um, I am gonna shadow fade. Before she gets fucked and got to zero, I'm gonna shadow fade. Uh huh. No, one dot resist, one. I mean, there was no dot resist chance there. But still, like, come on now. I do this. So now I can still Harry even though he's at zero next round. Uh -huh. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. How much damage is that? Yeah, yeah let's do that. Injury and despondence. If he clicks Flagellant, he can just pull, pull, pull everyone out of that scope because Flagellant is very fair and balanced. But now what he's done is he has removed that healing action from himself. That's a slight misplay, I think, on his part. Now your Vestal and PD are at zero, and you can on only the brink, heal one via Flagellant. Now flagellant can only heal one. Instead, if you had clicked the flagellant and then redeemed, which redeem or whatever this is, yeah, redeem. You could have had all of them not dropping. But now your plague doctor is left out to dry. Left out to die. Also, with this guard, I can just masterfully ah, fuck off. executed. 
Fuck off. Give me the death blows. Well, he's not dropping, so I can try a retribution death. But he's gonna heal himself. So I'm not gonna be able to try a retribution death. More blow. destructive than a hundred cannons. Is he not? He isn't. He's making me drop as well. In a death blow to death blow battle, I should win. Right? I do have the finisher. I should win this kind of fight where we are banking on death blows. But I won't. Because this is a fucking amazingly made game. I need that plague doctor to be dead a fucking year ago. Do I heal or no, I think I go for it. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Because I need her to eventually drop from the DOT, I think. Because Yeah, she isn't gonna be getting it. Grave Robber is not getting a turn anytime soon. Impressive. Oh ah, not enough, not enough. Still, we are slowly using up the flagellant. Now, what do we do is the question we're here. I think we just bellow and... Like, instead of bringing the flagellant to death's door, because then it's gonna happen anyway. And he can just heal, he has two healing actions. And instead, I guess I could have the renewed the guard. The mind have fallen. I could have renewed the guard, but honestly, I don't want her to go for Grave Robber again. And do the afflictions pay off? Question mark, question mark. Yeah, just affliction. Bank on the affliction. It's the least RNG dependent mechanic, obviously. Banking on the fucking affliction. They help me in this huge long fight. Ooh, okay. Okay, now that he has resisted equal amount of death blows. To that plague doctor it just the plague doctor resisted to finisher death blows not normal ones uh, I think I'm gonna the drop. Throne demands its portion. how much damage is this 8 to 4 please fuck off fuck off fuck off he can't break that I mean he can break that guard by just killing the fucking guard I'm gonna lick wounds. He can break the guard by killing the fucking man at arms. <laughs> if he does that though, his vessel's gonna be left out to dry. Can I bring you down? I could, there is a chance. Fuck it. I have a shadow fit. It's fine. Yeah, I'll kill him. It's fine. Just don't crit him, and I'll Another I'm life fine wasted with it. In the pursuit of yeah, okay, no crit, no crit. Gold. Just, just don't pass. Just do not pass. That's that's all I need from you. Right on. The mob rallies to the That's underdog. fine. I, I literally don't care. Fuck, oh man. The finisher death blows need to start coming in. Jesus, finisher, death loss. If if you stun, you're an ass. Yeah. I'm gonna do this first, even though I did gamble on the affliction there, because 42 with crown of thorns is a decent hit chance. First dodge, this is so clutch, so clutch, so clutch, dodge so clutch. I can bring her down again, I can bring her down again if I want now. But the thing is that corpse is about to go away, so I think it's been two rounds. Okay. Illumination, really? I mean, minus 30 dodge, fair enough. So, you will be able to heal your vessel if you wish. Do I do enough damage like this? I do, I do, I do.
I don't have any. I have one more shadow of it, right? That's. I need to save one for when this corpse go away and from win one. Man, this flagellant is getting stupendous value. It's just absolutely insane. Uh, oh, struck. the crit. The crit value, the crit value. Ah, uh, almost, almost. Oh no, two people dead on both sides. Yeah, I'll do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Flagellant can't heal, cannot heal. Right. And he, he can hit Grave Robber, but eh. So I think I'm just gonna no. click first. Because I don't think it really matters what order I do these in. He's gonna go for the Grave Robber. With the Rin. Please don't stick it. Fuck. He stuck it. I think the plan of action is gonna be Panic Dark. Strike. Oh, all of them. <laughs> oh, man. If, if we had Satchel of Dirty Trick. If we had Satchel instead. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Oh. No stress, no stress. This is Fuck. no place for the weak or the Why foolery. is my death blows. Be, why are my. In why have my. Finisher no death blows dialogue. been so shit this game. Yeah, that was another finisher death blow. Just, just unconcerned, unaffected. He has two One fucking. Must fall. I mean, I'm dead here. I am dead here. But I think finisher, finishers, it's finishers for here. Is a tenuous proposition. I'm gonna play this out this to the end. Sprawling tomb. This out of respect for the match. I'm gonna play it out to the end. I am gonna play something. Man, the finisher has been disappointing me this match. I think, again, three death blows with the finisher that have failed. Wiggly, please, you win. Adu, it's not so simple, bro. Bruh. He's a flagellant. <laughs> That's how Wayne says when DD2. Flagellant. Who does that? Who does that? Why though? But like why? I get the first turn right. Yeah. Get blown on him. He does have crown of thorns. That can do I get the crown of thorns DOT extra damage value? Nine damage instead of eight. That's it. I thought it would be ten. Well, I, mean, I guess it doesn't go that high up. Again, okay, Hound Master has casually withstood three deaths because it's a school. Eight damage. And kill him. Yeah, I knew. Well, anyways, guys. This was a great match. This was a fun match. Fun match. And I think the team is competent. I think the team is somewhat competent. It can fight. And it does well against damage teams as well with the bulwark. Yeah, it's a good team, I think. I'm gonna play around with it a bit more. See you guys for the next one.